Hello friends, welcome back in a lappy care. Today we are going to see a small circuit which is clock generator. It is a very small circuit but it is also very important because it fails the our motherboard will be dead. The main function of this circuit is to generate a clock signal for the CPU, north bridge, south bridge, uh, PCI slot, uh, LAN, LAN port and USB and PC, PS2 port. If the clock signal is missing, then our board, motherboard will be dead. So it is very important. So let's see. There is a uh, one crystal which produces the uh, uh, frequency of 14.38 megahertz. This is called a crystal. And there is another crystal. There are, there are two crystal in a motherboard which is connected to the uh, I, IC called a uh, clock IC and another crystal for a LAN card which is connected to the LAN chip. This is a LAN chip and this is a crystal which is connected to the LAN port and this is another crystal and this is a LAN, LAN uh, sorry um, clock IC which is connected to the CPU north bridge south bridge PCI slot. So it produces a clock signal for the CPU north bridge and south bridge if, if it does not it fail to produce clock signal uh, our motherboard will be definitely dead so how to test this crystal first we see the testing of this crystal so let's start this crystal is uh, having two legs from the back side of motherboard there is a this is a crystal and having two legs so we have to test that the both leg which should not be give connectivity to with the ground. So let's see my multimeter set to the buzzer, buzzer range. So I place the red prop on a ground and check whether the any leg is giving uh, connectivity with the ground. So I place black prop on one leg called X1 or X2. It does not give any connectivity with the ground. And another, this is another leg of crystal which does not give connectivity with ground. This is the testing of crystal. Agar, if crystal gives connectivity with the ground, then crystal will be faulty. This is another crystal which is connected to the LAN IC or uh, LAN port. So let's see how this crystal is giving connectivity with ground or not. I place uh, red prop on ground and this black prop on one uh, leg of crystal and this is does not give connectivity with ground so this crystal is okay if crystal gives the connectivity then crystal is faulty another testing for the crystal that is both leg does not give connectivity with each other so such a way I place one prop on one leg and another prop with, with another leg. So it does not give connectivity means this crystal is okay. Again this crystal LAN IC crystal this does not also give um, this also does not give any connectivity with each other. So this crystal is okay. So such a way we are testing the crystal. In a hot testing this, this was a cold testing we are does not give a power supply to the motherboard that is called cold testing and in the hot testing we have to check uh, voltage on the uh, pci slot where this is a pci slot on the b16 pin there is a 1.7 voltage that is called clock signal we are we have to check in a hot testing when we give the power to the motherboard so such a way uh, let's see this is a a side this is B side so B16 we have to count uh, till the B16 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 16 this is the B16 we have to check voltage on B16 which is should be 1.7 or near around 1.7 that is a clock if this signal is not present then our uh, IC or a crystal is faulty this is a clock IC clock IC we have to check connectivity with crystal 
so i place one prop from the back side to the crystal and let's see where the crystal is connected with to the ic here is the connectivity with the crystal that means this crystal is connected to this ic let's see another crystal so i place one prop from back side to the crystal and check this is lan ic here is a connectivity with this crystal to this chip or lan ic so such a way we have traced the path to the clock to ic so we can check which is a ic connected to the crystal so i hope you guys you are understand well i again told you that how to test in a cold testing the leg of crystal should not beep each other and should not beep with ground that is in a cold testing in a hot testing there should be a different voltage on each every leg x1 should have another voltage and x2 should have another voltage if there is same voltage the crystal is short or there is no value the crystal will be faulty and another case that is one leg giving the value and another weak one is not giving value that is also open or a faulty crystal so i hope you guys you like the video thank you so much and please subscribe my channel and share with friends thank you so much